In this video, I'm going to show you how to make two simple face effects in Photoshop. One of them we're going to shrink and the other one we're going to flip upside down. All right, so let's start with the upside down one right here. And all you're going to do is go to your image layer and go control J and then control J again to make two copies. Then click on the eyeball here to hide the top one and rename this one, double click. I'm going to name this one base. And then on that base layer, make sure you're clicked on it. You're going to go over here to the third tool down, which is the lasso tool. If you don't see it, just right click. It might be one of these right here. So lasso tool. And then we're going to zoom in control plus to surround kind of one thing at a time. So I'm going to start with the mouth and you kind of just want to make a path around the mouth, let go. And you're going to go up to edit, fill and change contents to content aware and then click OK. Now, it might work out great like this. This one worked out really good. You might get like a piece of the nose in there or something. All of that's fine. We can fix it up later. And then just move on to the next thing. So I'm actually going to do maybe this eye next. I'm going to surround this and just do the same thing. Edit, fill, content aware, OK. And you can see there, there was a little bit of this eye piece that kind of got stuck in there. That's fine because then we're just going to surround that whole thing right here and try again. So edit, fill, content aware. And that should fix it. We got a little piece there that again, we can fix up later. That's from the nose. So just go around and one piece at a time, fill it with content aware to get rid of each piece that you can. Around spots like this eye where it gets really close to the edge, then just try and be just a little bit more precise with your uh, selection there. And you'll see that it might work and it might not like there's another like indent there. So I'll select this and edit fill content aware. And yeah, that did a pretty good job. So you can just keep going over spots that you think you need to fix again. Or the other way that you can do it is if I go control D to deselect, you can go over here to the patch tool. So underneath the picker here, right click, you might see one of these other ones. It's just the patch tool. And then all you're going to do is do the same thing. You just go around the kind of part that you want to replace. So I'm going to kind of go around all of that. And then you just click and drag it to an area that has, you know, good texture or kind of the look that you think matches. And then you just let go and it'll naturally kind of blend it together. So if I go control D again, you can see that that just helped it a little bit and make it look a little bit more real, especially on some blurry parts. You might want to do it up here. There's, there's this kind of blurry patch right here. So I'd probably go back to the patch and select kind of this zone right here and drag that up to kind of the forehead here where there's actual texture. And then look, you got to just keep kind of going. Maybe I'll do some from there until you get kind of a, a good look. It doesn't have to be perfect. We'll fix it up after once we bring in this face. So now all you do is bring this one back. So it's the original image. You're going to click on that layer and call this um, upside down. Whoops, upside M down, down. And you're going to go back to the same lasso tool. And this time you're going to select the whole face. So a whole section like this, be careful right along this edge to be a little bit more precise and then back around to there. Then from this, you're just going to go down here and you're going to put a mask on it. So this box with a little circle in it, click that and nothing might happen. You see a little bit here from the bottom layer that from the base that's going to show through. But right now we just have this mask, whatever is white, if I hide all this, that's what's left and whatever is black is what's been covered or kind of erased, right? So if I put these two back, now what we're going to do is double click on the mask. So double click, which brings up select and mask. And then in here, we're just going to feather it out um, enough to make it so that the transition from the face that we have here to the base layer is a little bit more smooth. So maybe kind of like that. And then maybe you might want to shift the edge one way or the other if you think you need a little bit more of a selection or less. So when you have kind of a, a good selection, then just click OK. And now you can even see down here, it's kind of blended that together a lot better than it was just two seconds ago before we did select and mask. Now click on your main, like the thumbnail part of this upside down layer, and you're going to go up to edit, transform and flip vertical. And that's going to flip it so it's upside down. Then use your selection tool, your move tool, to just move it into place. So I'm going to place it, you cut, you don't want to place it down here. You want to place it so that 
the mouth is kind of up in the forehead a little bit. I think that looks a little bit more natural because the eyes, your eyes are kind of in the middle of your head. So something like that looks okay. I'm going to move it over just so you can see what I'm going to do to fix kind of this spot right here. Okay. So I'm going to place it kind of where I want. So somewhere like that maybe I think looks pretty good. Now, if your face doesn't line up perfectly the way that mine did kind of right away, then there's a couple things that you can do. So the first one is click on it and go control T, which will allow you to transform it like the size if you need to, or go to the corner and you can rotate it into place. And then the other thing you can do if you really want is you can go up to edit, transform, and then warp, and you can play around with these in here. So I'm just gonna show you, you can make a three by three grid. And if you need to, then you just click in here and you can warp the face as you need it to get it where you want. If you need to go back to the base to use the patch tool to patch up anything that you think needs patching, but because this covered up most of it, most of the kind of stuff that was left is already fixed. It's just right here for me. So I'm going to control plus to zoom in there and I'm going to go back to the mask. And you remember Matt, the black is what's covered up. So I can now use a black brush. So the brush right here, that's black in the foreground. You can use this to flick between black and white. So make sure it's black here. And I'm going to use a soft brush. So the hardness down that is kind of medium size. So like this is probably good. And I'm just going to maybe even and drop the opacity down too. So maybe somewhere around 50 for opacity. And you're just going to paint over kind of that zone. You might have to shrink your brush a little bit. It might work good, it might not. So if you go too much, it might reveal some of the other underlying layer that you don't want. So if that happens, just flick back to white and bring it back. So you can bring some of it back like that. I don't want that, I'm gonna put it back to being erased. And you might have to go over it a few times because remember it's 50% opacity. So it's only gonna erase kind of half of it. I erased some of those eyelashes there. So I'm gonna go back to white and kind of bring some of them back in around there. So that's pretty much it for this one, but just be aware that there are these kind of blotches down here that if I was doing this for real, I would make sure I went in there and cleaned up. So take your time and do it well. Don't rush through the way that I did. Now let's head over to the shrinking the face one. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit on this one and we'll do the same thing. The first steps are the same. So click on your background layer, control J, control J, click the eyeball to hide the top layer. And then on your second layer here, name it base. And then you're gonna follow the exact same steps as last time by using the lasso tool and fill content aware to get rid of the eyes, nose, eyebrows, and mouth. And then just like last time again, use the patch tool to clean everything up. And that's pretty much it I'm gonna, that I'm gonna do for now until I bring in the face and then I might clean up some of this other stuff as well. So click the face back in here, do the exact same thing, lasso tool, go around, be precise around parts that touch the edge up to the top and then put a mask on it, double click on the mask, feather it out and shift the edge as you need to have it make sense for the transition. So I'm gonna kind of fade it like that, maybe bring the edge back kind of like that. Click okay, make sure you're on the thumbnail part of this, not on the mask. So click on the thumbnail, control T and then we can resize the face. So I'm gonna bring it down to about that size and then replace it kind of into the middle right there. I'm gonna kind of line up the cheeks, I think in this case to make it a little bit easier on me. So something like that and then check to apply it. Control plus to zoom in. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing as we did last time. Click on the mask, go to a black brush and start trying to clean up the edges over here. Remember it's 50%. So you're gonna have to go over it kind of twice to make anything happen properly. So I'm gonna erase some up there. There's some of the like flower stuff and leaves coming through here. So I gotta make sure I get rid of all of that right down to the eyebrows. You can go, I'm gonna go a little bit more in here to kind of blend this in. And then once again, just make sure you take your time to clean everything up to make it look good. So that's it. That's two very simple face effects in Photoshop. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.